Hi guys and uh, welcome to yet another tutorial from EDM Producer Lessons, uh, aka me, of course. Uh, I want to start by saying the usual stuff, uh, put your uh, YouTube player to HD quality, high definition, because my software recorder fucks up, I don't really know why yet. Uh, today I want to show you how to make uh, a sidechain signal uh, for your bass. Uh, for your bass line. Uh, I'm gonna play you uh, a short piece uh, here that I'm working on uh, together with a guy. Uh, his name is uh, Pavel Valchuk and I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong. He's from Poland, I'm from Sweden. Uh, yeah, anyway he sent me a track uh, and the melody is the best thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, I like yeah, I like it so much. So we decided to form a duo and I will uh, we will work on this track for the next couple of weeks and then uh, then we will show you the result. Anyway, I'm going to play you uh, a bit. Uh, let's just hear it. <laughs> So great. And what I want to do now, I want a kick and a bass, of course. Here's my kick, and here's my bass line. Now, if we play these two together, they will sound like shit. Yeah, the low end uh, frequencies, the bass from the kick and the bass from the bass line are colliding and sounds like shit. So, what I need here is a side chain on my bass line. So, to accomplish that, I first need a sidechain signal, uh, and for that I have chosen the standard clap from FL Studio. And if we open the piano roll, you can see that the clap hits every time the kick claps, because we want our bass line to fade away when the kick uh, comes in, so they don't interfere with each other. Uh, and to make uh, a sidechain, we will assign, first of all, we will assign the bass to, uh, yeah, it's here already, on channel 7. Uh, and then we have our clap or our sidechain signal here. Um, now, let's bring in a little thing called Fruity. 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 Let's see. Oh my god, I hate this. Uh, Fruity Peak Controller. Yeah. Uh, as you can hear now, the clap is muted because we don't want a clap every single time the kick hits. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, go to the bass channel, uh, right click uh, and go to create submix to uh, insert 10, maybe. Yeah, let's put it there and rename that by clicking F2 and uh, bass submix. There we go, and uh, then go to the controller for uh, your submix channel, uh, right click and link to controller. Uh, choose uh, peak control as we uh, just saw, peak plus LFO, and mapping formula, you want it inverted, and accept. Uh, let's see now what happens if we play the sidechain signal and the bass together. Yeah, we got some movement there. Uh, and then just go to the peak controller and uh, set. Yeah, it says bass. <laughs> set it wherever you want, but yeah, like that. Just play around with the fruity peak controller. You wouldn't, you will know what I mean uh, when you when you do it yourself. Um, let's uh, let's uh, yeah. I'm gonna fix this. Yeah, uh, as I said, just play around until it's... Why are you moving? <laughs> just play around uh, till it works. Now, let's play the kick and the bass together. Already sounding a lot better. Uh, they're not interfering with each other. Um, 
I've chosen uh, Nexus for the base. Uh, I will probably change that, but just give it some attack um, to uh, to get a, as much sound as you can away from the first uh, beat. Uh, there we go. Uh, the second thing, thing to make this sound better is equalizing. Uh, we're gonna open the kick up and load a equalizer to it. Uh, I want to give you a tip about FabFilter Pro Q. Uh, everyone uses it. Uh, you you become pro when you use it. You can hear that on the name. Uh, the best thing about this little thing is <laughs> the analyzer. I just put it on. And now we can see the waveform. Uh, no, not the waveform. We can see the frequencies, sorry. Now I made a low cut at 20 hertz. Uh, why? Is because not one single sound system plays below 20 hertz. So everything from here to here is just mud that uh, will interfere with your mixing. So cut it out. Now what you want in a kick. Uh, is the punch and you will find the punch probably around here 50 or 60 Hertz uh, and that's why I made a little cut here uh, let's remember around 30 uh, and make a, a boost here around 60 there you go to bring out the uh, the punch uh, what you now have done is uh, you have carved out a bit from 30 hertz, 30, 3, 4, 5, yeah, there you go. And what this means is uh, you have all this space to play with on the bass. So let's head over there. Uh, we play the bass. Yeah, uh, remember fab filter and analyzer and then we'll do the exact same thing um, cut everything from 0 to 20 actually you can cut up to 25 30 it won't notice on a sound system uh, but then let's go over here and boost this not much uh, we don't want it to to take over the whole thing just boost it a little And then where you boosted the kick, make sure you cut out there so they don't interfere with each other. Uh, there you go. Obviously this won't sound super pro because I've spent, uh, let's see, um, eight minutes doing it. So <laughs> it won't be super good. Uh, as always, I'm sorry for my English, it's not the best, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, pop them in the comment section, and uh, be sure to subscribe, and also, if you're not watching this from my group, uh, I have a new group where we uh, collect uh, hard style, <laughs> no, sorry, where we, uh, yeah, you, you, you see the name, EDM producers, semi slash pro feedback, it's called. Uh, I will put the link to the group uh, in the info box below this video. Uh, if you feel like you belong here, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome to join. And uh, it's almost two in the night in Sweden, so my English is suffering pretty bad. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I I hope this learned you teach you something. My God, I have to quit this now. Yeah, uh, let's listen to it. So there we go, if I did anything too fast or if uh, my English sucked too bad for you to understand, uh, give me a comment in the comment section I'll, and I'll answer it. Uh, subscribe, like, tell your friends, have a nice day, bye!